hey, I'm, I am not impressed with this at all. So far, this is a rinky-dinky Fisher Price piece of shit. I, yeah. Uh, So we needed a table saw to do some ripping. Uh, we've used the Makita for the last 10 years. And the Makita finally, um, after building that, that log cabin, we used the heck out of it. And it, uh, the motor finally finally gave up the, gave up the ghost and, and is no longer with us, sadly. And I, I think if we took it in, we could replace the motor and we'd be back in business. And I, and I love that Makita saw. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of houses that we built and trimmed and, and projects that we worked on, that Makita was a good saw. So I don't have anything bad to say about Makita. But I have really been impressed with DeWalt and some of their drills and other tools that we have used, uh, especially their, their cordless line has been fantastic. And is, is there maybe nicer stuff? Absolutely, you can spend more money and get more features, but bang for the buck, DeWalt is, is a great uh, all around uh, tool. So for me, putting those tools on the job and having employees run those tools or them getting beat up in the field, I think that the DeWalt is, is a, a great tool. Now, if, if I was using it and it was just me and I, maybe I was in a shop, I probably would go with, I don't know, I would go more with, with more shop tools. But for I, these, these, this DeWalt table saw is meant to be loaded in the trailer every night, brought out every day, and used, and, and, it, and we're going we're gonna to use the heck out of it. So. I like a lot of the features. It's, it's stripped down, it's simple, and yet it's got a lot of, of the stuff that's important to me where we're gonna be using it day in, day out, and, and riding it pretty hard. So we'll get it out of the box, we'll put it together, and then we'll start cutting with it and uh, show you some of the pros and cons of this particular model and this particular setup. Open the sucker up with extreme prejudice. This is a rinky dinky Fisher Price piece of shit. I, yeah. Yeah. For 600 bucks, this is not sweet. I, I've got kids' toys that are better built than this thing. Yeah, I. Watch yourself. I don't disagree with you. I mean, certain things look like they're good, and now they use metal on some of this stuff. I mean, I like these. These are actually look cheaper than they feel. I like the rack and pinion, it's smooth. I, I, I hate how the lock is put back under here. I'm used to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my my. Hey, let's not go falling in love. I'm not that impressed yet. It's sexy looking.
Don't we have anything, any other scrap pieces that we could? I think, I think what you're going to like, Josh, though, is portability of it. Portability. The collapsibility. The legs, when we're done the other day, those legs pop up. It rolls to the truck. Take on another job without buying a second one. Yeah. I think that's where it has the advantages. I like that. The fact that it comes with that stand. The stand is nice. And, the, and these four, all four legs pop here, underneath. They lock into place, they lock up both directions. And nice. here's your handle and it rolls to the truck. Yeah, two at, two at 37 to start. Hey, so I'm a little disappointed in that that custom dent. I have to go back to the list. I bet they'll just take one and swap that piece out. Let's hope. But the fact that it can dent that easy, that's troubling. Yeah. What happened? I mean, who, who cares where it happened or how it happened? Oh. It did happen. And, and uh, of all the things on this saw that should not be able to bend or move, should be the guide bar. That piece. So that's disappointing. You wanna put that one in and then put the next one on this top of it? Second. Got it. Hey, if nothing else, it's a fantastic table. What's with our skill saw? 